Jeffrey Lionel Dahmer is an American serial killer who was convicted of killing 17 young men and boys back in 1992. Dahmer's victims age ranged from 14 to 33 years old. Dahmer was given the nickname the Milwaukee Cannibal and the Milwaukee Monster. Dahmer would drug his victims with sleeping pills and strangle his victim to death. After death, Dahmer would perform oral sex with the corpse. Dahmer had also conducted experiments on his victims. These experiments included Dahmer drilling holes in the victim's skulls and injecting either hydrochloric acid or boiling water inside of the brain while they were still alive. Dahmer's goal was to create a living person that had no will or mind of his own that would surrender to all of Dahmer's demands. All of his experiments failed, of course, and the victims ended up dying shortly after. During Dahmer's confession, he admitted to having eaten the hearts, livers, biceps, and portions of thighs of several victims. There's no question that Dahmer was a sick, perverse individual whose depravity shocked the world. But what exactly made Dahmer the way he is? To properly understand what caused Dahmer to kill, let's take a look at his upbringing. Growing up, Dahmer was neglected as a child. Neither parent paid any attention to Dahmer. Dahmer's father was a student at Marquette University, and Dahmer's mother would spend her time in bed. Dahmer's mother suffered from multiple mental illnesses. She would undergo episodes of extreme paranoia and demand constant attention from her husband. This led to conflicts and arguments between them. On one occasion, Dahmer's mother attempted suicide. This created an extremely toxic environment for Dahmer. Over the time, Dahmer developed a fascination with dead animals. Dahmer would dissect dead animals and store the body parts in jars. This later turned Dahmer to developing violent impulses. On one occasion, Dahmer decapitated the carcass of a dead dog and nailed the body to a tree and stabbed the skull with a sharpened stick. When Dahmer reached puberty, Dahmer had discovered that he was gay. Dahmer began to sexually fantasize about dominating and controlling a submissive partner. Dahmer also started to abuse alcohol. In school, Dahmer became the class clown. Dahmer would stage pranks by simulating epileptic seizures or pretend that he had cerebral palsy. Dahmer's pranks became known as doing a Dahmer. In 1978, Dahmer graduated high school and a week after, his parents divorced. At this time, Dahmer was at the peak of his unhappiness. Dahmer was just 18 when he committed his first murder. A month after graduating high school, Dahmer picked up a hitchhiker and took him back to the family home. There he struck the hitchhiker with a 10-pound dumbbell and strangled him with the bar of the dumbbell. After that, Dahmer masturbated over the corpse. Two months later, Dahmer enrolled at the Ohio State University but dropped out three months later. Dahmer decided to enroll in the U.S. Army in January 1979. Dahmer was stationed in Baumholder, West Germany and served as a combat medic. During Dahmer's service in the Army, Dahmer was known to be a rapist. Dahmer was later deemed unsuitable for the military after his performance as a soldier deteriorated from his alcohol abuse. Dahmer was given an honorable discharge in March 1981. Dahmer returned to Ohio to live with his father. He was later sent to live with his grandmother in West Allis, Wisconsin. From 1981 to 1987, Dahmer was arrested three times and had two jobs. In 1981, Dahmer was arrested for disorderly conduct. In 1982, Dahmer was arrested for exposing himself to a crowd of 25 women and children at the State Fair Park. And on 1986, Dahmer was arrested for masturbating in front of two 12-year-old boys. In 1986, Dahmer drugged 12 sexual partners with sleeping pills and raped them. The bathhouse administration where Dahmer would rape his victims banned Dahmer from their bathhouses. In the years 1987 and 1991, Dahmer went on a five-year killing spree and murdered 16 young men and boys. Dahmer's favorite method of killing was to drug his victim with sleeping pills and strangle them while the victim was unconscious. Dahmer strangled nine victims with his bare hands and three with a leather strap. Dahmer also bludgeoned a victim to death with his fists. In one occasion, Dahmer did not have enough sleeping pills to drug his victim and decided to cut his carotid artery. The two remaining victims died from complications from the experiments Dahmer conducted. On July 22, 1991, Dahmer was arrested when his almost 18th victim 
managed to escape and brought the authorities' attention to Dahmer. The police arrived to Dahmer's apartment, where they found Polaroid photographs of human corpses being dismembered. Dahmer was handcuffed, and the officers conducted a detailed search of the apartment. They found seven skulls, two human hearts, an entire torso, two entire skeletons, a pair of severed hands, two severed penises, a 57-gallon drum with dismembered torsos, and 74 Polaroid pictures detailing the dismemberment process of Dahmer's victims. On January 13, 1992, Dahmer pleads guilty but insane to 15 counts of murder. Dahmer's trial began on January 30, 1992 and ended on February 15, 1992. Dahmer's trial was to determine if Dahmer was indeed insane. The court appointed two mental health professionals, and they both diagnosed Dahmer with an antisocial personality disorder with sadistic traits, but legally sane. After a year, Dahmer consented to be transferred to a less secure unit. In prison, Dahmer devoted himself to Christianity and was baptized in 1994. Dahmer's visitors would consist of his mother, stepmother, and father. In July 1994, a fellow inmate attempted to slash Dahmer's throat with a razor embedded in a toothbrush. Dahmer only received superficial wounds. On the morning of November 28, 1994, Dahmer left his cell to conduct an assigned work detail. As Dahmer was cleaning, he was attacked by a fellow inmate. The inmate bludgeoned Dahmer in the head and face with a 20-inch iron bar. Dahmer was discovered on the floor unconscious at 8.10 a.m. Dahmer was rushed to a nearby hospital, but was pronounced dead one hour later. According to the inmate that killed him, Dahmer did not yell or make any noise while he was being attacked. We try and cover a new serial killer every week. If you have any ideas on what serial killer we should cover next, leave your suggestions in the comments. Thank you all for watching, and we hope you have a wonderful day.